All right, I was asked to load uh, Crisis 3 or Battlefield 4, I believe it's called, on my Samsung 950 Pro M2 drive. It's a 512 gigabyte drive, and um, it's pretty fast. It's actually reaching up to 2,500 megabytes per second read speed and 1,500 megabytes byte per second write speed under ideal circumstances I actually don't think there will be any difference at all loading a game but uh, <laughs> the World of Warcraft load on the end of my benchmark was actually a joke, it, not a joke that um, it loaded slow or fast or anything but a joke actually loading <laughs> World of Warcraft on it, I did not purchase this drive to play games on it, it was meant as a Windows and cache for Blender and After Effects and stuff like that. But I have put the Crisis on um, on the M2 drive and also on my Kingstone V300 120GB drive. So we'll do a comparison between those two in loading times. I did benchmark the, um, the Kingstone and it reaches about 530, 550-ish uh, megabyte per second. In, yeah, I think it was both read and write speed. It was pretty impressive because I heard that they that they they changed memories without telling. I, I'm not sure if they actually did that or if it's just a rumor. So I'm not gonna say that they did, but mine is totally fine. It's actually more more bang for the buck buying one of those. But so yeah, this is on the Samsung 950 Pro M2 drive, which was released uh, like a, a few weeks back. It takes a little while uh, from to start with, and I'm not sure how Shadowplay will react to entering a full screen application, but we will see. And uh, I think that it needs to communicate with Origin or something before uh, before it actually loads, because it. Um, I'm gonna be see if I can get this as fast as possible. So, uh, yeah, I do have pretty sucky internet here, actually. I had problems playing Hearthstone yesterday. It's, it's embarrassing. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of spammed Enter there to get into the game as fast as possible. Okay. And, uh, yeah, if I need mean, to change the volume. If you do play, um, if you do play Crisis 3, then you probably know where I am right now. I actually have no idea because I don't actually play this game. I don't know why, why I have it actually. <laughs> it was Black Friday and it was it was very cheap, so I figured, uh, why not? Uh, why not? Uh, so yeah, this is the game, and I can uh, can show the settings here. It will be the same in the other ones. So let's say graphics. It's 920 full screen. Let me say hi eight times. I'm not sure if that is the best or if the other ones are best or. Mm, this is a lot more analyzing options than I'm, I'm used to in games. And also very high, uh, we think yes, because it's better when recording. Anyway, uh, very high, uh, if we take advanced graphics, very high, very high, very high, 16, motion blur amount, medium, pff, uh, I don't like motion blur, so I'm gonna leave it at that, and lens flare, so yeah. Let's uh, let's quit this here, and I am actually going to to move it over to the the Kingstone drive uh, fast and see how it loads from there. <laughs> okay, so that actually took quite some time due to Origin not wanting to move my game and wanting to download it again and stuff. There were some issues, so I hope that it starts all right. Should be the same settings, exactly the same map. And uh, as you can see here, this is the Kingstone, I think it's called V300 and it's a 120 gigabyte drive and I'm expecting it to load just as fast as the other one. I'm gonna spam enter again, to be fair. This is Overwatch by the way, really looking forward for that game. And really beautiful art and the game looks like a... Uh, Pixar movie. So as you can see, it's basically the same speed. It's probably a lot of small files, and that doesn't 
SSDs don't really shine. <laughs> well, they, they are still faster than hard drives, basically, but they don't get to shine at the full potential. So, mm -hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, there is one over there as well. Uh, can I pick up arrows or something? Yeah. Not sure, got a little gun here and I'm gonna try it out. It seems to be going very well and uh, just so we are clear with the graphics. Should be exactly the same. As you can see here and uh, the advanced. So that was the comparing of the, the Samsung 950 Pro SSD and um, <laughs> the Kingston 120 V300 and uh, I'm not sure if I said that uh, there, there has been a little bit of time before the, between the tests here and uh, yeah they do say that um, the Kingston drives have different memories now I'm not sure that is something that I would definitely check up if, uh, if I buy a new one uh, this one that I got is uh, a few years old. Anyway, that, that's quite low. There is no difference. You get a lot more bang for the buck if you buy a normal SSD and not a, a really overkill one. And yeah, if you are buying the, the Samsung anyway, if you do want the Samsung 950 Pro because of like rendering and stuff like that, stuff that is actually good at, then... Um, then you do need to check your motherboard so that you don't have like 10, 10 gigabit or something on your M2 drive because that won't be enough to actually get the full potential out of this drive because let's see here my motherboard has 32 gigabit per second on the M2 drive and that is actually why I picked this motherboard. Uh, a lot of motherboards do have that now but uh, there are some that has like I believe 16 and stuff like that and you might not actually get out the, the 2500 megabyte read and 1500 megabyte uh, write speed if you don't have uh, yeah, enough bus speed. So uh, 32 gigabit is actually 4 gigabyte uh, and yeah that covers covers my my needs at least in this but uh, maybe yours is not that fast. You need to check that up for actually spending a lot of money on one of these drives. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you next time.